Hey guys, I just wanted to do a really quick video. I had a client of mine ring me up today and his question was, look, he was meeting a guy for coffee and he was going to basically say to this guy that he would help him with his project for free and he wanted to know what I thought. And I said, okay, well, there's like three really big things in this. Do you want to hear it? And he said, yeah, totally. Give it to me. And I said, all right, well, the first thing is when you're working with someone for free, what can you not do? Okay, so when you're working for someone for free, you actually can't work with other paying clients. It's like a distraction. It might as well be a hobby or something you do on the side. Um, so yeah, that's definitely the first step. Um, first thing to consider when you're giving away free work. Um, the second thing is people don't actually value free work. So when you do things for free, people just think, well, I don't really value it as much. When people pay through the roof, like in high-end masterminds, they actually value the work because they're actually paying. Um, and they can sort of, through their through the money that they're spending, they actually value what they're getting. So when you pay nothing for something, you just don't value it as much. And the third thing I said to my friend, I said, well, the second, third, the last thing is, you've actually worked like your ass off for three years working on this project. You, you built an app yourself. This, this guy was actually working on an app and this other guy wanted to work on an app. So I said, you've done it the hard way. You've learned yourself. You've worked out how to do it. You've worked out how to, you know, do it um, with the right resources. You've worked out how to build a team. You've worked out like every single mistake that's been made, you've made it. And you've learned all of that over the last three years. So, so this client, if he's going to do his own app, I said, if you're working with him, he would like to save himself three years of hell by working with you, shortcutting all of those mistakes and get his project off the ground inside of three months and profitable. I said, that's worth something, man. You should be charging for that. So we did some really high-end sort of coaching around how to actually ask for that sale and to position himself as someone that this guy should be working with and must be working with in order to get his project off the ground. Um, and to think that he was gonna go into that meeting and just offer his services for free, it's like, I mean, I've done it myself, but ultimately I don't do it anymore because you know, just people don't value it. And at the, at the end of the day, the, re the actual root fear under all of that is the fear that we don't know enough. I mean, if you've been working on something for like one, one month, six months, a year, two years, five years, 10 years, 20 years, you're, you know your stuff, right? You know you've got something to value. And my friend said, when I said to him, I said, why do you think that that's not valuable? And he said, I just, just, you know, I just feel like I don't know enough. And I said, I want you to consider that maybe you do know enough, that what you have right now is exactly enough for you to start offering this as a service to your client and they want to hear from you and that they want to want your help. So you're going to save them like three years of hell. They can get it done in three months. Of course they're going to work with you. So underneath all of that is actually the fear that we don't know enough. And I want you all to consider that you actually do know enough and that you've got a lot to offer and that people are dying to work with you. Okay? I don't want any more of this. My services are worth nothing. I'm going to charge nothing. They're not valuable. I don't know enough. I need to practice for another like few years. I mean, my coach is actually 26, right? And a few of my friends have said, oh, what does a 26-year-old know about business? He's too young. And I said, you know what? He knows more about, he's shown me more about business than like collectively all the guys I've ever worked with, the PricewaterhouseCoopers and IBM and every business, every entrepreneur I've ever met. This guy knows more. And the reason why is because he's just not beleaguered by this whole thing. You have to have been doing something for 20 years to know something about it. I mean, he just knows his stuff and shares it. And that's actually the secret, guys. Or well, not the secret, but it's actually about being willing to share what you know with people passionately and ask for, for, for what you're worth in those moments. Like, it's, it's valuable to people. And so I said to my friend, don't do that. It's time to stop all of that and just go after what you want and um, know your worth and consider that you are enough and that you do know enough and that you can really nail it. Anyway, he texted me a bit later on and guess what? The client is actually, he's tonight he's thinking about it but I'm pretty sure he's gonna commit. So um, I'm really happy for him that he was able to negotiate that deal um, and I'm really looking forward to seeing how that goes. So I hope this was some benefit to you guys, because um, I know that it's, it's a common question that people have, um, uh, I come across it all the time. Alright guys, have an amazing evening.